it's a pleasure and an honor to have back on Senator Chuck Grassley. Senator, it's always great to see you, sir. Sir, what do you make sure. of this fight? Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, he's hitting back against a class action suit filed by illegal immigrants. They were flown to Martha's Vineyard. But the governor's producing consent forms they signed showing they went on a voluntary basis. What do you make of this whole fight? Well, I've heard the criticism of it, and it's hypocritical to hear that criticism. What I hear from Iowans is simply the border ought to be closed, and they resent the fact that the president's not enforcing the border. And 8,000 people come across, and, uh, and uh, then they uh, find their way to various parts in the United States, 8,000 a day maybe. So DeSantis sends uh, 50 people to Martha's Finyards, and you'd think it would be the end of the world. Uh, and it's a rich part of the high-income part of Massachusetts as well. And they're inviting uh, illegal aliens with signs. So why uh, the big uproar? It's hypocritical for people to say that DeSantis did something wrong uh, and uh, not worry about Texas, uh, New Mexico, Arizona, and California uh, taking the brunt of it all. Uh, and, and I guess it's hypocritical because these people are going to find some place in the United States. The, the border needs to be enforced. The president takes a oath of office to faithfully execute the laws, and he's just ignoring it entirely and then lying about it when he says the, uh, or the vice president says the uh, border is secure, the secretary of High Homeland Security says the border is secure. Every day people see that lie on television. When five, six, seven thousand, eight thousand people cross the border every day. You know, and so the border states, to your point, they're paying, the taxpayers there pay billions of dollars extra to handle Biden's border collapse. And you have Illinois then calling in the National Guard, or in Massachusetts, and you have DC wanting the National Guard over a fraction of that appearing on their doorstep. When the White House talked about flying illegal immigrants to the border with Canada, or beleaguered U.S. cities like Los Angeles at this high-level meeting with DHS officials at the White House. And they try to sneak them into those cities at night, whereas the governors that are busing people out of the Texas uh, or out of Florida are doing it in a very open way and a very sincere way of, uh, of letting people know that if you brag about being a sanctuary city because you're so humanitarian, then why are you objecting to people coming by busload from Texas if you're going to end up with them anyway and you want them and you advertise being a, a, a sanctuary city? Uh, let me say one other thing about people crossing the border. Uh, they may be coming here for the American dream, but there's a lot of people die, 800 die so far trying to get here. And then you have uh, 200 Iowans being killed by the fentanyl that uh, crosses that border. And then you have uh, 78 people that are on the terrorist watch list. Why are they coming to the United States? Are they going to do their dirty work over here killing Americans? And so everything, uh, it just leads to death for a lot of people and dangers for other people, criminal elements coming in and doing dirty work and even killing people in the United States. Yeah, so when you collapse the border, you know, then you have mayhem and people die when you collapse the border. That's to your point. I mean, the White House press secretary didn't deny that the White House is flying illegal immigrants around the country. And then you have Obama's Homeland Security Secretary rebut her claim that this is a new crisis. Let's watch this. We have some reporting from NBC. The DHS officials have presented the White House with some options, including flying migrants to the country's northern border with Canada to alleviate overcrowding on the U.S.-Mexico border. Under a plan proposed by DHS, migrants would be sent to such cities as Los Angeles. Tell me how that is meaningfully different than what DeSantis and Abbott are doing. So let me just say a, a couple of things about what's happening at the border. The DHS put out a report laying out what kind of a migration situation that we're dealing with which is very new. When I was in office, uh, the numbers were annually about 300, 400,000 a year. We're now getting that in a matter of six to eight weeks. So Jay Johnson's contradicting the White House. This isn't a new crisis. They're trying to say the Central American countries are imploding, right? And so there's more streams coming out of places like Venezuela. But does, doesn't that then behoove them to really secure the border? Because we don't know who's coming in. We have 342 encounters with terrorists on the watch list. There could be, you know, multiple encounters with the same person. But that's, Congressman, that's more than, it's about the last two years combined. 342 terror encounters.
already at the border, all ports of entry. Uh, Senator. Well, if you want me to react to that, it just shows the hypocrisy of the administration bragging about flying people around to relieve the trouble at the border. So what's wrong, what's wrong with the governors doing that as well? All right, Senator Chuck Grassley, thank you so much for coming on the show.